In this video, we're going to look at several logarithmic equations-ish, and uh, we're going to be solving these guys. Now, I say ish for the logarithmic equations because this is really just scratching the surface of what we're going to see. For most of the examples we're going to come across, it's in our best interest to rewrite these guys and put them in exponential form. So you're going to hear me talk about this thing called flying the plane. I know it sounds kind of weird, but it, it works for me. Now, for something like this, x is already by itself, so we just really need to evaluate this. But what a lot of times what we do is we rework this to be an exponential equation, which is more in our comfort zone, right? So when I talk about flying the plane, I mean start here at your base, and you're going to fly a plane, and you're going to hit the x, and you come back over into what's inside there. Essentially rewriting this to be 25 is your base, raised to the x, is equal to 1 over 125. Keep in mind that when we when we read this, this is log base 25. So when I write the exponential equation, my base is 25. We also mentioned that the answer to the log is the power. So the log equals the power, that's the power. So let's work this out. It's exponential. I've got 25 and 125 and I can identify that their common base is going to be 5. Because I can rewrite 25 to be 5 squared, I still have 2 the x. Over here, let's see, 125 is 5 to the third. But as we keep seeing, if it's coming from the denominator, that means there's going to be a negative power there. See, 5 to the third is 125. When it's 5 to the negative third, that 125 goes in the denominator. Alright, so here we have power to power. So 5 to the 2x equals 5 to the negative 3. Since these guys have the same base, we can set these powers equal to each other. And then we finish solving this by dividing both sides by 2. And x is equal to negative 3 halves. There we go. That didn't seem to be too bad. Excuse me. All right, let's see what is next for us. Let's take log base x, you know that's going to be fun, of 16 is equal to 4 thirds. So right away we see that x is in a weird spot because it's as the base. So let's fly the plane and rewrite this as something that's exponential. So it's going to be x raised to this power is going to equal 16. So x to the 4 thirds is equal to 16. Now we saw an example of something like this way, way, way back at the first part of the semester. To undo a power, we use the power property, but we're going to use the reciprocal of that. So I see 4 thirds. I'm going to raise both sides to the reciprocal power, which is 3 over 4, which means I have to do it over here as well. Now the problem with me doing this is that since this guy is even, that means I'm basically taking an even root. So on the left side I get x. Over here this becomes the fourth root of 16. But since I'm taking a fourth root, that means this guy's slightly connected to the square root property, and there's going to have to be a plus or minus that comes out of that as well. Raised to the third power. All right, so let's work this out. X is equal to plus or minus. The fourth root of 16 is 2 raised to the third. So X equals plus or minus 8. There's a problem here. We need to remember that when we're talking about exponentials and logarithms, the base has to be positive and not equal to 1, which means that the negative 8 doesn't work. So the solution here is x is equal to 8 because x equals negative 8 
is extraneous. Oh well, so sad, too bad.